and it's awesome because, you know, as we've been building out infinite realms and trying to get a sense of what is AI in games, what does AI in games look like today? And we look at Hidden Door and, yep. you know, Retail Mage, AI Dungeon, in Infinity Worlds also is mm -hmm. another one. There's a handful of these AI native mm -hmm. game experiences. And one of the things that I really, like Retail Mage aside, don't include them in what I'm about to say. In what, what you all right. In, in that. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of these experiences, no knock to them, were not built by game developer first teams. Mm -hmm. Right. They were built by AI technologists building out what they think game developers or game players want. And you even see that with in-world and a lot of these dialogue and NPC driving technologies. And they think that people want to have endless conversations with NPCs or they want agents in their game that live in a world that make the world active. But what happens in those cases is one nobody actually will, that's a toy if they are just talking to an NPC forever. So that's not going to have longevity or have the retention rates that a game would. And then if you get AI agents, the AI agents don't want to bother with humans. Like humans are too slow. I have, I have stories on that one, but go ahead. <laughs> Ramon, did you have something you're going to jump in there on? No, no, continue. Can... So one of our humans tests, are I've shared this story <laughs> on the podcast before. 